Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie. Today I would like to show you how to crochet the beautiful Willow Granny Square. You can use these beautiful squares to make a beautiful blanket or pillows or bag or something completely different. So let's just get started. For the Willow Granny Square I am using Drops Merino Extra Fine in color 41. And it's a very beautiful olive color. And I am using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. To begin, I'm going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop and take my working yarn behind the loop and grab the working yarn with my crochet hook and pull the knot tight. Then I'm going to chain four. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to join these four chains with a slip stitch into the first chain. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook. So I now have a small circle here that I can work my stitches into. To start the first round, I'm going to chain three. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. One, two, and three. And these three chains will count as the first double crochet of the first round. And I'm going to make 15 more double crochets in the first round. So I will have a total of 16, including these three chains. And to make a double crochet, I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And I will just continue all the way around. So here at the end, it's always a good idea to just count to see if you have all 16 double crochet. And remember to also count the chain three as a double crochet. To start the next round, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook. And here at the beginning of round two, I'm going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And the chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. Into the next stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet. So I will yarn over, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And then I'm going to chain one. And again, I will make a double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And then I will chain one. And I will just repeat all the way around till I have a total of 16 double crochet and a chain one in between. So I will make a double crochet into the next stitch and chain one. 
and continue around. And here at the end, I will just make one chain and I will make a slip stitch into the third of the chain four that we started with. So insert and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. So I'm going to start round three by making three chains. One, two and three. And the chain three will count as the first double crochet of the round. And into the first chain space here from the previous round, I'm going to make two double crochet into the chain space. So I will not be working into the stitch, but into the space between the stitches. So two double crochet into the space. And into the next stitch here that you can see right here, I am going to make a double crochet. And again into the next chain space, I will make two double crochet. And into the next stitch, this double crochet here from the previous round, I will make another double crochet. And I will just repeat all the way around. So into the chain space, make two double crochet. And into the next stitch, one double crochet. And here at the end of round three, I should have a total of 48 stitches, including the chain three that also count as a stitch. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the third of the chain three. To start round four, I'm going to chain one. And here into the first stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. So I will insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And next I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I will skip the next two stitches and make a single crochet here into the third stitch. And the space here with the chain five is going to be the first corner in my square. So next I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And I will skip the next two stitches and make a single crochet into the third stitch. And 
and again I will chain three. One, two, three, and I will skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the third. And once more, chain three, one, two, and three, skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the third. So now I have three spaces here with a chain three. And now I'm going to make the next corner. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, I will skip two stitches and make a single crochet here into the third stitch. And again, to make the side of my square, I'm going to make three chain spaces, just like I did here on the other side. So I'm going to chain three, skip two stitches, and make a single crochet into the next stitch. Again, chain three, skip two stitches, and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And the third time, I will chain three, skip two stitches, and make a single crochet into the third stitch. Again, I'm going to make a corner, so I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And I will skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And to make the next side here of my square, I will again make three chain spaces. So I will chain three, one, two, three, and I will skip the next two stitches and make a single crochet into the next. Chain three again. Skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the next stitch. Again, chain three. Skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And to make the next corner, I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And I will skip the next two stitches and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And to make the last side of my square, I will again make three chain spaces. So I will chain three. skip two and make a single crochet, chain three and skip two stitches and make a single crochet. And here at last I'm going to chain three, skip the next two stitches and make a slip stitch into the first stitch that you can see right here. And here is my fourth round complete. To start the fifth round, I'm going to make a slip stitch here into the chain space where I'm going to make the corner of my square. So I'm going to insert my hook into the chain space, pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook. And then I'm going to chain three. And the chain three will count as the first double crochet of the round. I will then make four more double crochet into the chain space. So 
So as the chain 3 counts as a double crochet, we now have a total of 5 double crochet. We will then chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. And then we will make 5 more double crochet here into the chain space. And here is my first corner complete. Then I'm going to make a single crochet here into the next chain space. And into the next chain space here, I am going to make seven double crochet, all into the same chain space. And into the next chain space, I am going to make a single crochet. And here I have a chain five, so that means I'm going to make another corner in my square. So first I'm going to make five double crochet into the chain space. Then I will chain three and I will make another five double crochet into the same chain space. And into the next chain space, I will make a single crochet. And into the next chain space, I will make seven double crochet. And again into the next chain space, I will make a single crochet. And again, I will make a corner into the chain space. So I will make five double crochet. Then I will chain three 
and make another 5 double crochet into the corner. Into the next chain space, again, I will make a single crochet. Then make 7 double crochet into the next chain space. And next, one single crochet into the next chain space. I have now again reached a corner, so I'm going to make five double crochet into the chain space. Then chain three and make another five double crochet into the chain space. Into the next chain space, I will make a single crochet and into the next seven double crochet into the same chain space. And I will make a single crochet into the next chain space. And to end the round, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the third of the chain three. And that was the end of round five. To start round six, I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And the chain three here will count as the first double crochet of the round. And then I will chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And into the chain space here, that is the corner, I'm going to make a single crochet. And then I will chain three. One, two, three. And make another single crochet into the same chain space. And I will again chain five. Then I will skip the next five stitches and make a double crochet into the single crochet here from the previous round. Then 
chain three. Skip the next three stitches and make a single crochet into the fourth of the seven double crochet here from the previous round. Again, chain three. Skip the next three stitches and make a double crochet here into the next stitch. Then I will chain five. And skip five stitches and make a single crochet here into the corner of my square. Again, chain three. And make another single crochet into the corner. Then chain five. And skip five stitches and make a double crochet into the single crochet here from the previous round. Then chain three. Skip three stitches and make a single crochet into the fourth stitch. Again, chain three. Skip three stitches and make a double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain five. Skip five stitches and make a single crochet into the chain space in the corner. And chain three. And make another single crochet into the chain space. Then chain five again. And skip the next five stitches and make a double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain three. Skip three stitches and make a single crochet into the fourth stitch. Again, chain three. And skip three stitches and make a double crochet into the next stitch. And chain five. And skip five stitches and make a single crochet into the chain space here in the corner. And chain three to make the corner. And make another single crochet into the same chain space. Then chain five. And skip the next five stitches and make a double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain three and skip three stitches and make a single crochet into the next stitch. And here at the end of the round, I'm going to chain three. And since we already have three chains here that count as the first double crochet of the round, I am not going to make another double crochet. I am just going to make a slip stitch into the third of the chain three. And here is my sixth round complete. To start round seven, I'm going to make a slip stitch here into the first chain space. And I'm going to chain three. And the chain three here counts as the first double crochet of the round. 
I will make another four double crochet here into the first chain space. So here we have five double crochet in total when counting the three chains as a double crochet. So next I'm going to make three double crochet here into the chain space in the corner. And again, I will chain three to make the corner. And I will make three more double crochet into the same chain space. And into the next chain space here, I will make five double crochet. And into the next chain space, I will make three double crochet. And into the next chain space, I will again make three double crochet. And into the next chain space here, where I have five chains, I will again make five double crochet. And into the chain space here in the corner, I will make three double crochet. And then chain three. And make another three double crochet into the same chain space. Into the next chain space, again, I will make five double crochet. And into the next chain space, three double crochet. And I will just continue all the way around. In every chain space where I have three chains, I will make three double crochet. And in the chain spaces where I have five chains, I will make five double crochet. And into the corners, I will make three double crochet, three chains, and another three double crochet. 
into the same space. And to complete the round, I am just going to make a slip stitch into the third of the chain three that we started with. And I will fasten off my yarn by pulling the yarn and cut and tie a knot. And all that is left to do now is just to sew in the yarn tails here on the back side. And if you wish, you can always block the square to make it a little more straight in the edges. And that is how to crochet the beautiful Willow Granny Square. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to let me know in the comment section or give this video a like. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.